So what I'm going to show you here is a couple of clips of the early morning riser uh, collecting cecropias. I get up around 4.30, 5 o'clock, and these moths will be flying around. Oh, you might want to turn the lights off. They make this a little easier to see here. Can I see that clear? <laughs> so I get up and there's already 10 flying around and uh, me trying to catch these off and put them in a cage. At 4 in the morning, you know, the birds start singing, so you'll, you'll see the bird, hear the birds singing. But you're not going to be able to hear anything of this evening. So I'm just going to chirp, chirp. Um, so what I was doing, um, the one time, as I was saying, I marked some of them off. The night I got 111, I marked them all, except for a few that I kept for uh, specimen. So I left, uh, I think 106, I released. All marked with a pink, uh, pink, red paint mark. And the next night, I got 35 old ones. So that then, the next night, I caught 93, I believe. So out of those 111 from the night, 106 from the night before, I still got 150 brand new ones. And so that is a three night stay, uh, you know, adding up the females and the males that came in the three nights, and, you know, it was like 230 some moths were flying around the neighborhood somewhere. Where do you live? <laughs> I live in West Toledo. Um, I've been doing this since 1970, and I'm only about two miles from where I did it when I was a child. Um, and uh, it's, it's surprising, just like they say that moth, uh, owls are out in the city, you know, they are out there, they just aren't something that you normally find. Some people occasionally find cecropias that they hatched out, sometimes the caterpillars come out of the trees and they go in and make their cocoon in any number of bushes and stuff along, you know, on sides of houses, sides of whatever. And, uh, one neighbor said he was cutting his grass and he bumped this bush and out two feet, two, you know, a pair fell out of the grass. So they are around somewhere. It's just, uh, you gotta look for them or in the case of me, I go out and find them and make sure I have them. So, it, it's kind of fun. Uh, I've been doing it for about like, 20 years and getting up at 4 in the morning. And I got one later that uh, shows um, two of us trying to do this, hitting our each other with the head with a net, you know, trying to catch them. So, we'll get another shot, I think.
what happens uh, when birds see them, they fight for the eye, the eye spots, which is why the polygemus has those big eyes. Hopefully they either scare away any potential bird or owl, or uh, you can see that where a bird had gotten it. So it missed the body, the vital part, and just bit off a piece of the wing. So we put them in there. Um, that day I did get one out of 15. It was a mark one from two days before, I think.
you can see there's a polyphemus it has. You can see the, the, the clear space right in the wings there and the silhouette there. They got eye spots that uh, you're going to come up there and see them later. Uh, the males have a little clear spot in the center of the eye, while the females have a little bigger spot. Now the uh, other time we went out to a uh, campground where we were camping. So we had gotten uh, three or four. We were sitting there all afternoon, you know, I had nothing else to do. We just sat there and watched them come in. And uh,
one year, I, I, I've been trying to get cecropias to live in my trees, in my mom's house or my house, for like 20 years, and nobody ever did it. Nobody ever even, uh, you know, like accidentally laid an egg in my tree. Uh, until after I left, uh, my brother found a caterpillar come out of the tree. But um, I was at uh, Ms. Watson's house, and I had an apple tree in the back, and I was just passing by. And uh, I passed by one of the leaves, and there was uh, three eggs in this apple tree. And I uh, uh, kind of tried to keep an eye out, but they kind of moved off to another part of the bush, and I made it down the way of the The only time I found out they were still there was that uh, um, I found a cocoon in the crotch of the tree, and another cocoon, which I didn't even find until that spring was in my oriental poppy, the dead stuff of oriental poppy in there, sort of, and the other third one must have died because I didn't find it. Well, I think it's specific about the plants. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, they are pretty, Cecropia pretty much does a lot of, the, a lot of the, the local trees around here. Um, shoot, I don't know if I have a, I think it tells us that or not. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, um, the Cecropia likes maple, box elder. I've seen them in, oh, excuse me, willow. Willow, yes. Uh, I've seen them on cherry, wild cherry, regular cherry. Dogwood. Dogwood. Um, beaches, ashes, birches, elm, maple, poplar. White oak, green shrubs, everything. Um, the polyphemus likes a lot. I found them on oak, uh, maple. They like grapes, birches, hickories, maple, oak, pines. I need help. <laughs> Lots of genuine, real live ones. 
Good territory out here, I think. I don't know what's wrong with yeah. well, I'll see what happens. Hmm. Um, was that one? Did everybody see that one? Was that a problem with you? Or was that a spike bush?